The catastrophic eruption of the Stromboli volcano created an enormous and tall column of ash, both from the explosive eruption at the summit and from the turbulent hot avalanche triggered by it and descending upon Shara. The impressive plume of ash rose several kilometers and drifted southeast across the island and sea. During the pass, a few minutes after the explosion, the eastern and southeastern sides of the island, including the southern half of the village of Stromboli, received large amounts of ashfall, strongest in the area near the harbor and towards the Forja Vecchia area. Precisely to the east of the peak. The ash deposits that fell were mostly in the form of very fine-grained powdered ash, gray to brownish in color which reached about one millimeter thick in the southernmost area near the port. Most residents are relatively quick to clean their roofs, terraces and other surfaces. Stromboli Beach, which is famous for its black sand, is suddenly no longer black, but brownish-gray. Now the black sand gradually disappears as the waves hit it, people walk around, and in this way the black sand comes to the surface again. In the village of Stromboli, the second deposit from the eruption came from the sea. Light-colored, greenish to yellowish pumice floated on the water and began to be washed away by the waves. The diameter reaches 2 to 3 centimeters, but mostly around 1 centimeter. This pumice stone, often called, golden pumice stone, is known as a typical product of Stromboli paroxysms. They form from extremely hot, gas-rich magma that rises rapidly through conduits and erupts in large quantities over a short period of time. This represents magma originating from a deeper source of the volcanic system with almost no change. In contrast, Stromboli's normal activity, regular but small explosions from various vents at the summit, produces glassy scoria or black sandy ash. It is formed during a long-lasting eruptive period when the magma rises very slowly, thus remaining for some time in the channel, when the magma begins to release some of its gases and form small crystals. Essentially these eruptions occur like soda water releasing small droplets of water when gas reaches the surface. Small fragments are released when gas bubbles in magma-filled channels are released in events that occur during small explosions or strombolian splashes. If we look closely at the pumice, we can see that it actually contains a small portion of dark lava. When fresh magma rises, it also mixes and is ejected along with more degassed magma. So, pockets of dark scoria in golden pumice come from this older magma. Interestingly, the ash that fell in the southern part of the village did not contain large pumice stones, only a few small fragments. It must have come from a different feather. The hypothesis is that the pumice-rich portion of the plume, corresponding to the magma erupted during the vertical explosion, did not hit the eastern part of Stromboli at all and simply deposited in the south in the sea, where it then washed ashore the floating pumice in the eastern part of the island. Part of the plume that caused the fine ash fall may have come from a plume produced by an avalanche at Shara del Fuoco, when part of the crater terrace collapsed. This lump contains a lot of old crushed rock, which was originally located in the crater area. Residents note that it produces a distinctive sulfur odor. This is in accordance with the description that most of the original material came from the crater area which contains a lot of sulfur deposits from fumaroles. <laughs>